Global Chief Executive Officer. That would be you, Dana Pfizer. Hello, hello, and welcome. Okay. Also joining us is Tim Church. Hello, Tim. He is, you have a very long title, and I'm going to shorten it to say you are the professor at LSU, but give your official title if you wouldn't mind. I'm the director of preventive medicine research at Pennington Biomedical Research Center, which a lot of people don't know about. We're the largest freestanding obesity, nutrition, and prevention center in the world. See, and that's why I wanted him to say his title. <laughs> Exercise. Moving. And Dr. Church, please join the conversation because so many people, I mean, we all know what we have to do. We all know we should do it. We even have exercise tapes on how to do it. But yet, yet, it's still very difficult for so many people. It is. It is difficult. It's so you not... need to say something that's going to, people will say something, they'll hear you, and they'll go, okay, I heard Dr. Church, and now I want to, let's move. Well, it, it's not about exercise per se. Exercise is almost a dirty word. It's yes. about physical activity. It's about accumulating physical activity throughout the whole day. And we used to actually get physical activity at work. You know, you look back at 1960, one out of two Americans had jobs which had so much physical activity, it was essentially like exercising. So now... We used to get it in school, too. In school, we used to too. Get it in That's school. a whole To and from school. I hated recess. But you used to get it in school. Yeah. You used it, to get it in school. It, it, now, very few Americans get physical work at work. And that reinforces the importance of accumulating throughout the day. It could be a little walk here, um, you know, using the steps, uh, stairs instead of the elevator. And, of course, mixing in some Now you're doing exercise. crazy talk, using the stairs instead of the elevator. <laughs> now, but, but, you know, this is so funny you should say that. Because I'll get on the elevator and have the nerve to be irritated if somebody gets on and they're only going a floor, one floor. But then I'll get on the elevator and I'll push a floor and I'll think that's really okay. <laughs> But how many people really do use the stairs when they have an elevator that they could use? You know, a lot more than used to. Really? Because a lot more people are appreciating this is about accumulating physical activity throughout the day. It's not about some crazy exercise program that you're only going to stick with for a few weeks. This is about a lifestyle. And, accumulating. It has, and, and it doesn't have to be something huge, right? Uh, the reason why I'm asking, I'm a sucker for those infomercials, and I just ordered that uh, P90, PB90, P90X. P90X. I looked at that bad boy and said, how in the world am I going to do this? They said it's hardcore, and that's why I said this is what I should do. But you're saying it, it, you can start really take baby steps and your, work your way up into yeah, something the, really strenuous. The central things you've got to appreciate about being physically active is something's better than nothing. Once you get off the couch, you're getting tremendous health benefits. Now, you want to work your way towards about 150 minutes a week, so 30 minutes a day of walking, 30 minutes accumulating day. throughout the day. Now, if you are a jogger, if you're one of those persons that likes to do higher intensity stuff, you only need to do 75 minutes a week. The higher the intensity, the less the amount you have to do. And how much exercise do you do, Dr. Church? Uh, a lot. I, I mean, no, 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 no. I want a number. I, I, I you do. said that if we do 150... Um, that that's only 30 minutes, that's pretty good. And if you're high intensity, then you only have to do 75. Okay, so not to make it all about me, but there's a bunch of cameras, so I will. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's all about you. Well, as life goes on, you've got to change what you do to your lifestyle. Yes, I used yes, to do yes. triathlons, I used to do marathons, and then we got kids, none of that worked. So I started doing martial arts with my kids. So that's my thing now, is martial arts. They just, I just had a story on the news about martial arts. <laughs> Somebody was committing a crime and people who knew martial arts, did you guys see this? Subdued the person in the lobby of the hotel. Was that you? It wasn't. And, and held them until the police came. I thought it was the greatest video. They were in the process of robbing these people who knew martial arts. They stepped in and subdued them until the police came. See, there is a benefit to martial arts. So I'm thinking, if you, walking seems very simple for most people. We just had the New York Marathon here in the city. Uh, there was a story on the news about the last person came in at 31 hours. Um, she uh, suffered from mul multiple sclerosis, but I thought it was so amazing that A, she took it on and she finished it. So you're not saying we all have to strive to be marathoners, but if we could do something as simple in the neighborhood, is th do you have a recommendation about a speed or an incline if you're on the treadmill? You know no. Or, does, or don't get hung up on that. Let's not make this super complicated. It's okay. not. A, a great way to address walking is step counters. And Jenny has it in their program. Get a step counter. I mean, they're 15, 20 bucks. You can find them anywhere. And most Americans, unless you're living in Manhattan, are going to be getting <laughs> about 5,000 steps a day, okay. which is ridiculously sedentary. You want to slowly build up to eight 
kind of eight-ish thousand steps a day. And, and if weight is something you're focused on, then probably 10,000 plus steps a day. But if you're routinely getting 8,000 steps a day, you're getting a lot of physical activity. Okay. And you do that by incorporating, like I tell people, don't email or call anybody within 400 yards of you. <laughs> you know, get up and go talk to them. You know, you know, park a little farther from, from the mall. Uh, and, and, and lead, lead. I plead guilty. Yeah. No, uh, my assistant is Ariana, and I'm literally here, and she's sitting there, and I will pick up the phone and call. That's so bad. Because back in the day, you did. You would get up out of your chair, take your big butt out of your chair, and say whatever you had to say. Okay, so if you said someone is, what did you say, 400 yards? Yeah, it, or you can see them. They're within walking distance. Okay. Get up and go talk to them. All right. Thank you, Dr. Church. So 